Welcome back to the Recom Facts channel. In our previous video, we explored the most rumored mysteries surrounding Denver International Airport. However, those were just the surface-level mysteries commonly associated with the airport. In today's video, we will continue our journey through Denver International Airport, but this time, we will delve deep into the airport, specifically beneath its surface, to investigate whether there exists a rumored secretive base affiliated with the Illuminati beneath the airport. We'll also explore any potential connections between these alleged secret bases and well-known ones like Area 51 or the NORAD military base. Join me as we uncover the truth. In 2010, a retired construction worker named Stu Weber stepped forward to grant an interview to a journalist. The interviewing party was BuzzFeed, a highly renowned media company in the United States. He conveyed to the reporter that back in the 90s, he had been involved in the construction of Denver International Airport. However, the notable distinction was that he had not participated in building the airport's above-ground architectural structures as we typically see them. Instead, he had been involved in the construction of underground tunnels beneath the airport. He mentioned that at the time, he and other workers had been informed that these tunnels were meant for drainage purposes. However, if these tunnels were indeed intended for wastewater drainage, then they were unquestionably the world's largest wastewater drainage tunnels. This was because the width of these wastewater drainage pipes extended to a whopping 12 meters, with a height reaching up to 16 meters. It's worth noting that the typical width of a road lane ranges from 3.25 to 3.5 meters. This means that the width of this underground drainage system exceeded that of three lanes and the height surpassed that of five stories. What's significant is that the area surrounding the airport was mostly empty land with no human habitation. So why would there be a need for such massive drainage tunnels? Referring to them as underground drainage tunnels seems more plausible than simply describing them as underground pipes. Not only did Stu Weber mention the drainage system, but he also stated that in the northeast part of the main terminal, there were originally five additional buildings. Just as these five buildings had been completed, the construction site mobilized a multitude of excavators to fill in and bury all of these structures. Simultaneously, they casually informed everyone that the reason for burying them was due to a construction mistake. Presently, these five buildings are buried deep 18 meters underground, and no one knows what these five buildings were ultimately meant to be. In the end, Stu Weber further explained to the journalist that back in the day, this underground construction was massive, and the contractor he was responsible for was just one of many tunnels. There were numerous other contractors overseeing different tunnels and projects. Moreover, they were strictly prohibited from communicating with people in other areas. Stu Weber's words shed light on the long-standing suspicions of many and also provide an explanation for why the airport's area is so extensive and why the construction project took more than 16 months longer than originally planned. In reality, it's a colossal hidden facility underground, and this hidden facility may serve as a refuge for members of secret societies like the Three Points and the Illuminati in times of emergency. On September 27, 2011, U.S. President Barack Obama made a surprise appearance at Denver International Airport without prior notice and stayed there for a full day. Since this visit was not scheduled for a presidential interview, no one knew the true reason behind Obama's sudden visit. However, some people noticed that this time frame coincided with the closest approach of the Elenin Doomsday Comet to Earth. Many began to speculate whether the president had descended into the underground complex of legends. Because Obama never provided an explanation for this event, coupled with Stu Weber's comments, an increasing number of people believed that there was more to Denver Airport's underground than met the eye. Beneath Cheyenne Mountain, located 143 kilometers from Denver Airport, lies the world's largest and most advanced surveillance center. Despite being situated under Cheyenne Mountain, 
It can easily monitor over 8,000 satellites in the sky and nuclear missile systems all over the world. This is NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command. NORAD is known as one of the most heavily guarded military bases in the world. In comparison, Area 51, which we often hear about, pales in significance. Based on publicly available information, we now know that this NORAD headquarters is located 600 meters deep within Cheyenne Mountain. Inside this massive cave, there are up to 15 high-rise buildings, and the dimensions of the tunnels within reach heights of up to 15 meters. With this information in mind, the underground tunnels beneath Denver Airport may no longer seem too far-fetched, don't you think? Because Cheyenne Mountain is formed from robust granite rock, it can withstand emergency situations, including nuclear attacks. It not only boasts a sturdy external shell, but also stores ample food supplies, has an endless water source, and is equipped with various power generation systems. Regardless of whether doomsday were to arrive, this facility can sustain itself. For many years, there has been suspicion that such a crucial military installation is located in such close proximity to the enigmatic Denver airport. Is it possible that these two entities are interconnected? In 1963, U.S. President Kennedy tragically got assassinated. Some people noted that 10 days before his assassination, during a speech at Columbia University, Kennedy mentioned that he had deceived the American people and was preparing to reveal the whole truth. Unfortunately, President Kennedy never had the chance to disclose the truth as he was assassinated. In 2017, the individual who had promised to unveil the truth about the Kennedy assassination was Donald Trump. But he too did not reveal the complete truth. Despite the constant postponement of the disclosure of the truth, I think many of you watching this may have grasped some understanding by now. In reality, many things are like this. When you're deeply immersed in examining each individual event, you may not see the true purpose behind it. But when you step back and look at the bigger picture of everything that has happened, the truth about many things becomes apparent. When we assume that Area 51 is the secret hub of extraterrestrial activity and the U.S. government, we may not realize that they have moved even more secret locations elsewhere. No one can confirm whether Denver Airport is one of those locations, but it can be said that to some extent, there are certainly more shocking mysteries concealed within Denver Airport. On the stone plaque of the Illuminati at Denver Airport, there is a line that reads, Beneath this stone tablet rests a time capsule, to be opened in 2094. Perhaps the truth we seek lies within that time capsule. What makes people most curious is why it is to be opened in 2094. I wonder what your thoughts are on this. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below the video. Our sharing today will stop here for now. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to share it with a friend. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you again.